So this is an amana. This is a trust from Allah Azza wa Jal. Um, and think about that. Now, of course, my recommendation as well, if you are um, about to uh, embark on marriage or, you know, um, you, you know, there is somebody in mind or in the future when when you're about to, um, you know, make that decision and you find you found someone that you're communicating to. There's two things that I want you to keep in mind. And the first one is istishara. That means consultation. That means you consult others about your decision that, you know, what are your maybe your fears, your insecurities, um, that you consult others about the person. So that's istishara, consultation, talking to others. Then once all the boxes are ticked, there's attraction, there's deen, there's manners, right? Um, you've done your istishara, you've consulted others. You're ready for marriage and the responsibility that comes with marriage and the duties that come with marriage. Then comes istikhara. So the istikhara means you've done all your due diligence. Now you start talking to Allah. You pray to rak'at, right? Other than fard. And then you make dua al istikhara. Allahumma inni astakhiruka bi ilmika wa astakdiruka bi qudratika. Until the end of the dua of istikhara, which you'll find in Fortress of the Muslim, be it the app, be it the book, right? Always, when you come to make any important decision in your life, you need to consult Allah as well. You need to talk to Allah Azza wa Jal through dua, and especially dua al-istikhara. Once you've done your two units, once you've done the dua, now it's not about seeing a dream. It's not about getting somebody else to do the dua al-istikhara for you and the prayer of istikhara. It's about you doing the work. You are the one that needs the answers. And if you look at the wording and the pronouns that are found in dua al-istikhara, it's Allahumma inni astakhiruka. I am asking you, right? So it's not in the third person. So yes, um, and then the istikhara means you've already done the due diligence. And if you don't find any red flags, if you don't see... Um, any clear signs not to go ahead, then that's the istikhara telling you to go ahead, right? But if you start to see signs, clear signs that show up after the istikhara and after you've done your due diligence saying that maybe you should reconsider, then yes, you need to slow down, reassess the situation, inshallah. So keep that in mind, um, istikhara and istishara.